Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a great day because I have another new Viseart palette to review. Viseart, what do we do to deserve this? We have been so spoiled by Viseart this holiday season. Not only have we been spoiled with their releases, but the releases Viseart has been coming out with, they have brought it. I'm sorry, but I've been loving their quality and loving their color stories, so I know that I had to pick this guy up. So if you want to see my review on the brand new Viseart, Paris Etoile. Am I saying that right? Hold on. Etoile. Etoile. If you want to see my review on that, then just keep watching. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas. I'm in the middle of Vlogmas and I'm really excited about this. So I actually ordered this palette from the Viseart website the day that it launched. It also was included in their Black Friday sale. So I did get this at a little bit of a discount. Right now it is currently $30 if you're interested, but I will say if you're going to buy it, the best value right now is on the Muse Beauty Pro website. They're having their holiday shop. It's called the Sweet and Petite Deal. For this you get to pick any of the petite pro palettes including this palette right here as one of the options and you also get a free dual eye pencil from eSum which is also really nice so that is $29 so you literally save a dollar and get an eyeliner for this palette so that's the best value I would recommend buying it from there I will have it linked down below anywho <laughs> Let's get into the palette itself. The shipping took a little bit longer. I normally pay for expedited. It's pretty cheap for expedited from them. It's only like a couple dollars more to come across the country to me in Maryland. And normally their expedited comes pretty quick, but I forgot to check expedited. So it certainly took longer, especially I'm sure with the Black Friday delays and they are a small company. Not complaining, just wanted you to be aware. Yeah, it finally came to me and shout out to you Viziart for sending this palette in this. I cannot stand, and I'm talking to you Nordstrom, when I order something really small and it comes in a really big box for no reason. Nordstrom literally sends me samples in big boxes, like a Tom Ford mascara sample. It's the most annoying thing ever. So thank you, Viziart, for sending this in such a lovely small little package. Love that. <laughs> Anyways, so this is what the packaging is going to look like. This is in the Petite Pro size, so really small pants making this perfect for travel you do get eight shades now this palette is inspired by basically the nightlife in Paris you know those nighttime vibes Etoile means star in French if you didn't know and oh my grungy girls you're gonna love this so it comes in the normal Petit Pro packaging you do have the names on the back if you didn't know this about Vizzy Art they do have a 36 month shelf life one of the longest lasting formulas on the market and this palette it was made in the USA. If you do need to take a look at the back of the packaging, it is right here if you want to take a gander over at the ingredients. I just feel like Viseart has truly listened to their customers because now they're adding designs on everything and this is something that I've personally been requesting. I like the style of the Viseart packaging but we needed more and I love the little cute designs that they add. It gives it so much character and then not to mention the color stories that they've been bringing. I really feel like they've been listening to us because take a look at this color story. Now if you're not familiar with the way that the packaging works, you pull the ribbon and you do have a mirror and here are the eyeshadow. So you can see we have these deeper, grungier tones. Perfect for nighttime, kind of smoky eyes. I guess I'm leaving this video very, very dramatic, but I'm really excited about this. Taking a quick look, from what I can see, there are four mattes and four shimmers. Fabulous ratio. I love that there's a black in here for a smoky eye. It's totally necessary. I love the deeper tones in here. A navy, a plum, and a black, and a transition shade. From what I can see, this is quite intuitive to use to create a smoky eye. So let's get to the swatching here. I'm going to turn the lights down just a wee bit so that you're able to truly see the colors. So the first color that we have here is Fontaine, Vavin or Vavin, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, and then Raspail, which actually now that I'm looking at it is more of a dark charcoal gray and not a black. But let's take a look. So Fontaine is a pink champagne with a shimmer finish. Vavin is a light beige 
with a matte finish. And then Raspel is a bitter charcoal gray with a matte finish. One thing with Vizzy Art Shadows is they definitely apply better than they swatch. They've been swatching good lately, but that darker shade didn't. Then we have Fleurus. 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 <laughs> Excuse me. Mon... Montmartre. Listen, I looked at the name of the palette, but I can't do every shade. And then Choisy. <laughs> Here we go. Mid-tone eggplant purple with a shimmer finish. Steel French blue with a blue matte finish. And a smoked blackberry with a matte finish. Oh, these swatches look uh, questionable, but we'll see. Okay. Then we have these last two shades, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce because my attempts have been pathetic, but <laughs> these look really pretty. So we have a crystalline lilac with a metallic shimmer, and then a deep metallic gray with a crystalline metallic finish. So it seems like, based on their description, they consider these two to be shimmers and these two to have like a crystalline metallic finish, which I can totally tell the difference. These definitely have a little bit more sparkle and oomph to them. But here are the swatches to all eight of the shades in this palette. Now, as far as these swatched, I will say some of these darker mattes do look a little questionable, but based on my experience with Vizier, I'm not going to fret just yet because normally they apply a lot better than they swatch. They're just one of those brands with that kind of formula. I think it's because they have a bit of a drier formula, which is the reason why it has more of a longer lifespan, but it's about how they apply. So I'm going to test them out and I'll be back to show you. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so proud of myself. I use every single shade in this palette on this look, and it's a pretty look. So I'm going to start off with my Viseart Eye Primer just to set us up. This is a decent eye primer. I don't think it's exceptional by any means, but I do like to use it when I wear my Viseart shadows, which is quite often. They do pair well together. I use the ESMW25 to blend it out for my brush kit. And I decided for today's look, we're mostly going to be using refer brushes because we're working with such dark colors and I have a smaller eye shape. So big blending brushes would make me look like I got punched in the face. And refer has the best small detail work kind of brushes. I do believe they're still having their 50% off Black Friday sale or whatever, cyber, whatever the occasion is. I believe they're still having it, so. Pay attention if you're on the market for brushes. So starting off with a Refer 27 brush, we're gonna start off with this as the transition shade. None of the shades in here are super powdery, so they don't make a huge mess when you stick your brush in. They definitely have a little bit of kickback, but it's nothing crazy like some shades that I've worked with. And sometimes Viz Viziera has had more powdery shades, not in today's case, which is quite surprising because these shades are super dark. This just lays the perfect gray cast for this look just underneath. And we're gonna dig into that a lot to really work on the blend with these darker shadows. I probably could even work on it more. Refer number one brush, and we're starting off with the navy shade. This is the one that I would say on my arm swatched the worst. It's just fine. <laughs> so I'm applying this to the inner third of the crease. I'm getting it on the tip of my brush. I'm doing the same thing on the lower lash line. We're gonna match that energy down there, just like that. Okay, I'm wiping off the brush, I'm gonna kind of diffuse the edges so we can make it look blown out, but you can see no patchiness, no skippiness. I told you Viseart, you can't go by the swatches. Refer number 14 and we're going into the deep plum shade. This blending brush is perfect for the dark color placement in a smoky eye in the crease because you have full control of where that color is gonna go. And I'm leaving like a tiny bit of the outer corner free, but I'm putting it mostly on the rest of the crease. And I'm actually just gonna put it all along the entire lower lash line, like so. We'll focus on the edges later. We're going in with an even tighter brush. This is perfect for the outer corner. And we're going to take this shade right here. I thought it was a black at first, but it's definitely just a charcoal. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this on the outer corner, the lower lash line, though I do wish it was a true black. I think the charcoal is still a nice touch. We're getting this in the outer corner like so. And all three of the shades look different on the eyelid, which is wonderful. Something that I'm often looking for. And I'm going back into the original crease brush that I used. And I told you we would do this. Go back in with your transition shade. And we are going to soften the edges. Now, as you can see, I did more of a rounded eye look. You could also take that charcoal and bring it out if you want to elongate the eyes a little bit more. Do I want to do that? Maybe just like a wee bit, but nothing crazy. Again, keep it blending. I do want to bring out a little bit more of the plum, so I'm gonna pat some back down right on top. 
With a rougher number one brush, which is a shader brush, we're starting off into the shimmery eggplant right here. I'm gonna tilt my head back just a little bit to make sure I don't get too much fallout because we don't like dark shadow fallout on our face, but I'm just gonna press it into the center of the eyelid, basically where you applied the purple crease color as well. And then I'm getting some on the tip of my brush and I'm applying it on the outer half of my lower lash line. With these dark shades, I'm impressed. I do have like a touch of fallout, but it's nothing crazy like some other palettes I would use. Okay, now we're going into the dark charcoal. This has some shimmer, so this is gonna make it fun for the smoky eye. And then I wanted to brighten up the eye, so I got a clean rough for number one brush and we're going into this kind of like pewter shade and this is going in the inner corner and this is beautiful this has a lot of pigment lots of dimension and it's really going to brighten up any look that you're creating and then finally we're going to take the lightest shade right here and then we're gonna finish off the look inner corner under the brow bone okay take a look at the fallout honestly not bad for such dark shades i would say make sure you do tap off your brush i think i did a better job of tapping off my brush with this eye because i got almost no fallout a little bit more now but still impressed given these types of shadows because normally it's a hot mess but you guys know I like to live on the edge and we always do our face makeup before right anyways I'm going to put on some liner and lashes and finish the rest of the makeup and I'll be back to share with you my final thoughts on this all right guys here is the final look and I mean if you couldn't tell already I love 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 this palette once again viziart did it again the last what six this is now seven palettes that they've launched in the last couple of months have all been phenomenal as far as the color story here i really don't think i have too many palettes that touch a color story like this you have to like smoky eyes though if you're not into a smokier deeper look i don't think that you'll love this i mean there of course is room to create something that's not smoky but if you're gonna get this palette it's because you like smoky eyes i feel like the colors that were chosen to be in this palette makes so much sense. I love that you can create an all kind of plummy smoky eye, a charcoal smoky eye, a taupe look. The pop of navy is really really nice and flattering for all of these shades. It's extremely cohesive and very intuitive on how to create a look and honestly this is like the ultimate smoky eye on the go because of how tiny it is and it just has the perfect array of colors. I do not have a single bad thing to say about this palette. I would say you know if you're working with dark colors just make sure you tap off your brush and I don't think this palette's gonna be for everybody. If you like light, airy, and bright makeup, you're not going to like this palette. But if you are into smoky eyes, evening style makeup, this is phenomenal. Very happy with this. I really hope Viseart continues down this path because <laughs> their stuff has just been so amazing lately. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me on yet another day of Vlogmas. I hope you are having fun. I have a lot more videos in store for you guys. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would appreciate it if you would take the time to do so, especially so that you can get notified for tomorrow's video and all of the videos to come. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys, have a good one.